Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video we are going to uh, show you how to solve the bootloader on firmware on CC3D. We have the, these two mm, types of uh, CC3D flight controller. These are exactly the same except they have a case. So this one has a case and this is without a case. So uh, let's get the right software for these. So let's go to the internet and get a version that works and solve. Let's get it started by getting the right software. So let's go to the internet and on Google just type open pilot and click on openpilot.org. Go to the software, software download, and then here you will see 15.05, this is one version with all different operating system. Scroll down and then until you see 15.02. This is a software that works with these flight controllers. So I'm using Windows, so 15.02, and if you have other operating system, Mac, Linux, uh, so download the right version. So I'm clicking here, saving. So I'm clicking on download and then it's being saved under my, the download. It takes a few seconds. Okay, so I can click here, but for some of you, if you're using other software, let's, let's click here, go to download, and then you should see Open Pilot 15.02 here. Double click and install it. Click OK and then continue with installation. Once so it, it's asking to install OpenPilot COM port. OK, I'm not connected yet. So finish and then let's not run it so you will understand what's going on. If you're new, so this is a shortcut. Let's double click on that. And now, once the software is ready, let's connect this. So I'm connecting it. So, input device, USB, wait for this to complete. Let's check if the device is recognized under the device manager type dev as you can see device manager this is windows 7 and windows 8 on windows 10 right click and you will see a big menu with the device manager on this list so now dev you can do the same thing also in windows 10 just click and type dev and you see device manager so under device manager under the ports you should see something else so now it's plugged in. You see here, now copter control, as you can see, virtual port. So this, you must see this before proceeding to anything. If you don't see this, you have to solve this problem, but you have to solve this before proceeding to the other steps. Now, if you go to the firmware here, now it shows copter control, but let's click on upgrade. It takes a while until you get the error. It says that it was not able to control it. You see this timeout? To be fully connected so, so that is the upgrade issue so the bootloader issue problem is here so now to solve this if this continues and completed successfully then you're done and you can go to the flight wizard and continue from here all the setup but when we have problem then we need to get uh, another uh, software another firmware that is known to be working to get that, let's go to robojax.com
at robojax.com just this is a category click on flight controllers because we have so many flight controllers click on CC3D so these are the two types that we are selling on the website so click on any of, any of them so let's say click on this one for each product beside the images we have description which shows the full description we have what is included and then we have and another tab called downloads. Click on download and we have two file two link or file. This is a link with the arrow, but this is a file which says bootloader firmware fix. Click here and then the file name is cc3d fix robojax.com.bin. Save. Save it inside your download folder and then download is completed close this let's go back here now disconnect okay so the gyroscope is you can see is responding the um, uh, compass is responding but you are unable to complete the uh, upgrade so disconnect this until these are activating rescue and then connect it now we are connected here as you can see here, copter control release 14.1, 2014, whatever. So click on open. From here, point it to download and then select the CC3D fix robojax.com.bin. So that's a .bin file selected and open. Then click off, click on I know what I'm doing because this is a warning and then click flash wait until this finishes I'm holding it at an angle hopefully that to see to see that the compass okay so now it's completed now let disconnect close open back open pilot Now connect this. And then go to, f so you see here, you must see uh, copter control. Don't worry about this warning that it says that firmware uh, is uh, the version. So don't worry about that. Again, click on firmware. Now upgrade, click on upgrade. As you can see, the gyroscope is responding and the compass is responding. If I go to flight data, you will see everything is responding, but the firmware is not good. So upgrade. Now, this, uh, as you can see, it's going further. So now uploading. So that's good. It got it. Now it's uploading it into the system. Let's hold it at an angle so we will see. Uh, I'm holding this at an angle to see if this goes with the side so that it, when the reboot is completed. And here you see COM3, that's a wrong port. You see COPTER, done, successful. So now we have firmware date which is 2015 and 12. That's, as you can see, this is from last summer. That was completed and then you can click on welcome and go to the setup wizard and continue from here all your setup. The setup is completed now for all your drone and hobby needs. Please visit robojax.com. We ship free for all orders over $100 and you get it in three days. For orders less than $100 it's about $13 based on the package. So you get it in three days. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates.